Hey guys, I uh, hope you've all been been, been good. Um, hope you've had a great Christmas and a uh, great break and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's, it's actually been a hard couple of days really. Um, obviously the title of the video is um, sort of saying that we've uh, fortunately lost Carrie Fisher and today we've actually, we, not even not even 36 hours later, we've also lost her mother, uh, Debbie Reynolds, which is just incredibly sad. Um, Still, still haven't quite processed it all. I don't think. Um, it's been just trying to keep my mind off it. Yesterday, yesterday I got up for work. Um, yesterday, today's Thursday, um, 29th. Yesterday, yesterday I got up to go to work. Um, about 5:30 in the morning, I woke up and you know made my cereal and uh, sat down at the dining table and. Usually when I do that, I just sort of take out my phone and just sort of check the news and read the headlines and stuff like that, just while I'm eating. Um, um, and yeah, I just I, I flicked over to Facebook and I opened that up, and obviously it was one of the first things that I saw shared. Um, and the more I scrolled, the more I saw, and um, yeah, it, it hit it hit pretty hard. Um, I didn't really know what to think at first, and then uh, my girlfriend got up a couple of minutes later, and uh, she come in the room, and I told her, and then we both just completely broke down. Um, it was it really hit us hard, and my girlfriend literally just finished her latest book, uh, Carrie Fisher's latest book, the day before. Um, so she sort of Carrie was like fresh in her mind. Um, just fresh from reading that book, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, it didn't the it didn't sound good when we found out that she'd had a heart attack or gone into cardiac arrest um, last week. Um, but I guess we always just had that little bit of hope, didn't we, um, that she'd pull through. Um, so yeah, I was I was a little bit concerned how I'd be at work um, yesterday and we actually had some ridiculous storms that night um, which is strange in the middle of summer here in Australia we've just had I think it was a hundred hundred over over a hundred mils of rain um, which is which is a shitload let's just say that it's a shitload and we had thunderstorms and the town which is a little bit 30 30 minutes away from home um, where I work they lost all power um, so my boss sort of messaged me and said look we're just hang out till 8 o'clock if the power's not on by 8 o'clock don't come in so power didn't come back on so it didn't end up going into work um, so we flicked on the TV and um, yeah the news were, news were reporting on it and both me and my girlfriend just broke down in tears a few times we just it's still it still stings right now. It's um yeah it's it sucks. <laughs> That's just what it is. And um I I just at the moment I'm really feeling for Carrie's daughter. She's just lost her mother and her grandmother in in like 36 hours or something something unfair. And you know I don't know. I just it, it really does it sucks and it's gonna it's gonna have a lasting impact I think um, we've we're coming over to the US in April um, to go to Star Wars Celebration and Carrie was one of the people that we, we were really looking forward to meeting um, just we're hoping to meet a lot of people over there um, hoping to meet some of the, the Star Wars actors and celebrities and all that sort of stuff and you know, we really want to make the most of our trip and try and meet as many people as we can. And, you know, Carrie was right up there on top of that list. She's just such a unique personality. And, I don't know, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm chucked into a situation where I have to talk to someone, I get nervous as hell. Like, I, when I met Greg Grunberg at um, Supernova here in Adelaide last month, um, I don't know what to say to these people. Like, I'm, I get, I, get, I was crapping it. And... As soon as I started talking to the man, like it was, it was like a, it was like a friend, like it was just like chatting with, chatting with Joe Blow, and it was, it was so easy, and 
I don't know, I've got a, I can have a little bit of a sick sense of humour sometimes, so I, I, I don't know, I think I would have, I think I would have clicked with Carrie a bit, um, and my, my girlfriend, she's certainly got a very similar trait in that she just, this little, little cheeky, cheeky thing, <laughs> she's a bit of a brat, let's just say that, and I think Carrie's a bit of a brat too, um, in her own special way, and um, yeah, it certainly, certainly leaves a big hole, but, um, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make a little video, I did a couple of posts on Instagram yesterday, just sort of, to help vent a little bit, and just express my thoughts a little bit, and while I'm still trying to, all my thoughts are just an absolute jumble in my head, and I don't know, yeah, it's, it's a hard thing, um, She's just a fantastic person, role model, everything, all of that, and um, yeah, we don't we, we don't have her anymore. Um, the memories are going to be amazing. Like we can chuck on Star Wars whenever we want, and yeah, the other movies and stuff she's in, and um, yeah, it is. It's a bummer, but life does go on, um, and we will get through it eventually. Um, but you know, we've we're allowed to mourn these things and. Her character through 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 Princess Leia has had a profound impact on my life. Um, you know, I'm 29, so I've been a, I've been watching Star Wars for uh, close to 25 years. Um, so it just had a big impact on on my life, and you know, it's it's a bummer. But yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, I. Christmas was good. I had a good break, um, good few days off. Spent time with the family. Me and my girlfriend didn't do the presents this year. Um, we did buy ourselves a video camera, which is right there. Um, I've got a Sony Handy Cam, so I don't have to use my phone anymore, and that's awesome because I can record for as long as I like. And um, yeah, don't have to worry about storage and trying to manage data on my phone. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I can actually record videos. I hope this turns out alright actually. Um, that said. But, so that was our gift to each other, pretty much. Um, we decided not to do presents. Just because, uh, America's probably our number one priority. And, we've almost booked all our flights and accommodations. Um, just a few ticketing things that we want to get. And, We'll be ready to go in April, um, about a hundred days until we fly out to the US. Um, so that's super exciting, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you've all been really good. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic break and we look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Um, don't foresee getting a video in before then, but if I do, um, I will see you then, but if not, I'll see you in 2017. Um, and that's all I've got. Um, yeah, may the force be with you guys always.